Hello and thank you for watching. Uh, today I want to address zip files. Zip files are something we just love to hate because you go to download something and you're wondering why in the hell is this a zip file? Uh, well, let me go ahead and explain that to you. First, if you're not familiar with what a zip file is and you just stumbled across this, I'm going to go ahead and show you. Uh, this is a distribution of a website shopping cart system called Zencart. Now the thing about Zencart is it has about 2,000 or so files in it. So when you download this distribution, uh, let's go ahead and click on that and we'll get that started because that takes like uh, five seconds or something. Download the latest official release, 5.3 megabytes. Uh, the 5.3 megabytes is a compressed file and essentially when you uncompress that file it's well over 10 megabytes but there's a little bit more to it a little more a little more behind it so let's just go ahead and download a compressed file so you can see what I'm talking about uh, let's see we're in downloads right now and I already know that I've got this in there so I'm gonna create a new folder and I'm gonna call this uh, demo All right, so let's go to demo and let's go ahead and save this file. And let me explain something else to you. Uh, first, the first thing it does, and we'll just open containing folder here. The first thing that a zip file does is a zip file saves space on the server for the company that's distributing the zip file. Now I have 7-Zip installed and I'm going to leave a link to the video down below where I explain how to extract the files through 7-Zip. But I'm going to go ahead and extract the files here. And you're going to see something when I extract these files. I'm going to open this folder and show you a bunch of things here. Uh, let's see. Compressed. Okay. There we go. File folder. You can see that this is just filled with folders. But let's go back here for just a second and let's right click it and click properties and you can see how many files are in this and it contains 1580 files in 233 folders that's amazing okay now when we go back I'm gonna cancel that we're gonna go back and open this for a second here's the problem with just sending out these files willy-nilly you know one at a time first of all you would have to download 1500 files in this case now there are other cases that are a lot smaller and they're just a single file that are zipped but let's just get into one of the reasons for zip and that is you take this index PHP and it says Windows cannot open this file so I'm gonna open this in Notepad++ and you can read this file in Notepad++ but the problem is if they put this file on the web server in such a way that you could hit it with your browser it's not going to download this file what it's gonna do is it's going to open this file because most modern browsers are designed to take for example a PHP file and process that file rather than download it. So for this simple reason uh, this is why people zip files. You have to zip a file because if it's in its original extension and that extension can be run by your browser your browser will attempt to run that file. So let's go back here for a second to this uh, Zencart e-commerce shopping cart and I have a PHP file that's located on a server as well as just about most people who have any type of dynamic website that's written in PHP let me go here uh, wingstoday.com uh, it's a site I just built and uh, it has a PHP file in the background when you look at the uh, view source of that you can't see the PHP because it's rendered on the server side and because the browser has asked for a PHP file it has told it to render this PHP file on the server side so uh, and the same thing goes you can go a little deeper in here I've got a news feed here 
And I just did a complete tutorial on wingstoday.com slash news. But if I type in index PHP, it's going to come back to the same page. It's essentially, it's not going to be able to download the page. It's just going to render the page. And that's the problem and the reason that a lot of files are zipped. They're zipped for two complete reasons. Uh, one reason, and this used to be the thing in the, back in the day, was to save bandwidth. Now, everyone's got high-speed internet. And there's no need to save all that bandwidth now. But the problem is now, modern browsers, whether you're using IE, Netscape, Chrome, uh, whatever, these, these browsers want to process these files. So these files have to be put into uh, zip files. And I know it's the most annoying thing you can ever run across when you get a file and you have to unzip it and all that. But really that's the way they distribute files these days across the internet. And uh, I hope that has explained it to you a little bit. And I hope you understand why you're getting so many zip files when you want to download things. Now, uh, some files like exe, which are executable files, which are the files you click on that says, do you want your computer to change things? Those can be downloaded. But, uh, for example, PHP files and things of that nature, HTML files, etc., are interpreted by, by the browser. And that's why, nowadays, a lot of people use zip. So anyway, I hope that's helped you understand zip files. And like I said, I'm going to leave a description down below to the uh, video that I did about downloading a unzipper. And if you like this uh, video, if it's helped you out a little bit, uh, please help me out a little bit by giving me a thumbs up, comment, rate, subscribe. And I hope to catch you in another video. You have a good night or day, whatever.